If you had to find a place in London, England to set up a bookstore, you probably wouldn't think of the historic Regent's Canal, and definitely not on the water. But a few years ago, that's exactly what Paddy Screech and his business partner decided to do. The bookworms, who love the canal, stuffed this houseboat to the bulkheads with second-hand books. And it looked like we were idiots who had decided to move into the dying medium of the book uh, uh, and to sell them in a place where there was no one to buy books. All around them, bookshops were closing. The number of independent bookstores in the UK cut in half over the past decade. But Screech's store had an advantage. On the water, they did not have to pay rent. But British boat laws meant they had to keep moving. It slowly sank into us that it was going to be awfully hard for us to make a living doing it the way we were doing it, because we had to do this moving the shop to a different part of London every two weeks. So Screech decided to break the rules and stay here, launching a petition that received thousands of signatures and tweets. There was all this secret silent support for what we were doing that we didn't know about out there that just came out of the woodwork. One of the reasons this bookstore has managed to stay afloat is thanks to the paperback comeback. Sales of physical books jumped 8% last year in the UK, while sales of e-books are dropping. It's a similar story in Canada, with e-book sales down 2% last year, compared with a 3% bump for paperbacks. Part of the reason is a rise in e-book prices, making some even more expensive than the physical book. And perhaps surprisingly, many of those opting for a hard copy are young adults. I hate the stereotype that our generation is obsessed with their phones. The buoyant bookstore is now enjoying a new chapter. Screech is even writing a book about it all to be available only in paperback. Jeff Semple, Global News, London.